Now these next questions on bar graphs, pie charts, and line graphs are actually just looking at a particular graph and then analyzing it and then answering the questions, which seems pretty easy, but sometimes there's a lot of layers and steps to it, so you've got to be a little bit careful. So again, we're going to steal some problems from the book, and we'll see what, uh, what they look like. So number 13... Number 13 is dealing with this line graph here. So we're going to want to analyze that. So number 13 says, in what years did receipts appear to climb faster than outlays? So now we want to make sure we understand what exactly they're talking about. So first we're going to know what receipts are and then outlays. So looking at your graph, you've got your red line for outlays and you've got your um, blue line for receipts. So did they, so we want to know when the receipts appear to climb faster. So essentially when you're thinking of this, you're just going to want to look to see which one grows faster. So if you said, okay, well, is that growing faster than that? And the answer is yes. So, I mean, if it's going uphill faster, then that's what they're talking about. So we want to look at any particular year where receipts, so where the blue line is going uphill faster than the red line is. So we could just take it year by year. So the blue line's decreasing, so that's no good. It's decreasing, that's no good. Here it's increasing, but if we compare it to the red increase, the red is going uphill a little bit sharper than the blue line is. So that's no good. From 2004 to 2005, now look how steep the blue line is here compared to the red line. So in this, this would be one of those cases where it grows faster. So I would say from 2004 to 2005. Now they just say the second year, but I would, I would say both years. So you'd say 2004 to 2005 you know so we'll, I'm gonna write them in here and then we'll transfer them to the other page so so that's one year looking at 05 to 06 again the blue line is grow is going uphill faster than the red so that's another one looking at 06 to 07 this is going uphill the red lines almost flat so that's another year it's going downhill so that's no good downhill no good this is going uphill, and it's going uphill not very much, but the red's not even going uphill at all. So this would be another year from 09 to 010, 010 to 011. Well, it's going uphill. This one's going uphill pretty close to the same, but I would argue that the blue one's going up a little bit faster. And then the last year would be 11 to 12. So again... We got this is going uphill. This one's not even going uphill. So these last three years, it's going to be in there as well. So that's our answer. So we got 2004. Let me shrink it back down a little bit. 2004 to 2005. We got 2005 to 2006. We got... What else in here? 2006 to 2007. And then we had those last three years. So 2009 to 2010, 2010 to 2011, 2011 to 2012. So that's, that's what they want. So that's the answer for number 13. Number 17 now gets into this set of charts. We got three of them that we're analyzing. Now again, a little bit hard to read. Let me zoom in a little bit. So we got key, selected key economic indicators. So we got the gross domestic product, we got unemployment rate, and we got consumer price index. And we've got some measurements on the side, but we'll zoom in once we know which one we're looking at. So number 17 says, 
over the six year period about what was the greatest change in the consumer price index and when did it occur? So consumer price index. So, well, gross domestic, so that's no good. Unemployment rate, that's no good. Consumer price index. So we wanna look at that one a little bit more closely. So just one more time. Over the six year period about what was the greatest change in the consumer price index and when did it occur? Now, if we read the side here, it says the percent change from the previous year. So each bar is the change. So all they want to know is which bar was the greatest. And we can see it's the second one, which was in 2008. And now we have to approximate what it is. It's between 3.5 and 4, but it's more than halfway. So I would guess it's probably about 3.8 maybe. So that would be your answer. So they got to give you, you got to give the year and the amount. So back to your back to your notes. So you could say this was in 2008, and it's a roughly 3.8 percent. That's all they want. Now you don't need to put the little squiggle in there. The little squiggle just means it's about. Okay. So now number 21. So again, let me zoom in here a little bit. So number 21, if you don't read the, the directions, that's not necessarily a good thing, but we're going to skip it for now. What is the greatest single training source to what degree, uh, to the nearest degree, excuse me, what is the central angle of that category sector? So now the question you're probably saying is, what the hell are they talking about? So you have to actually go over to the pie chart. Pie chart's what they're looking at for this one. So what's the single greatest one? Well, looking at all your pieces of pie, we can see that trained in school is 33%. So that's the first part of the answer. So trained in school, helps if I spell it right. But now the second part of the question says, to the nearest degree, what was the central angle of that category sector? So now they want to know how many degrees that that angle is here, that central angle. So central angle just means it's coming from the center of the circle. So how big is that angle? All we know is that it's 33%. So now the trick with this one is... How big is the circle in terms of degrees? So remember, a whole circle is equal to 360 degrees. Well, we only want 33% of that. If we take 33% of 360 degrees, we can do that mathematically if we change this to a decimal and then multiply. Remember, of means multiply. So now if we get our calculator out, 0.33 times 360, so 118.8. So 118.8, but we want to round it to the nearest degree, so that's going to be 119 degrees. So trained in school, and it's a 119 degree angle. Okay, so let's save the next page for the next video.